Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of Beyond the Book. My name is Ashley. And my name is Sarah. And we created this video series for families like yours. We're going to explore how a book can inspire you to read, learn, and create together. The inspiration for this episode is a book called Book's Big Adventure by Adam Lairhaupt. This book follows a book through its life at a public library and beyond, and it inspired us to share with you how books and other materials may move through our big library district. When we decided we wanted to use this book, it was actually at another branch. It wasn't at Midtown, so we had to request it. And you can do the same thing. If you see something in the catalog, but you can't make it to the branch where it's located, just request it. It'll come to the branch that's most convenient for you. It's free and it's easy. Let's see how it works. So we'll just find our book in our card catalog, Book's Big Adventure and I'm gonna request it. I'll just need my name and library card number, and then it will ask me where I want to pick it up. Usually I pick it up at the Schweitzer Brentwood branch, because that's where I work. But this time we're going to send it to Midtown. What happens next? Now it's going to end up on a list to be paged. One of our jobs here at the library is called a page, and among other things, they go find books that people have requested to send them to another branch. Once they find the book, they'll put it on a cart and then wheel the cart over to the Cirque workroom and place it in a tub. Now that tub is going to be picked up by delivery workers. Delivery happens once or twice a day. When it arrives at its destination, another page will unpack it, put a new slip in it, and place it on the hold shelf. And that's where we'll find it. As you can imagine, this whole process takes a little bit of time. We're still working on our teleport machine to make it more instantaneous, but it may be a while. You may have wondered, how many books actually circulate in our collection? Just guess. 300. Mm, keep going. 3,000. Oh, you're getting closer, but... 40,000. Actually, over 330,000 books circulate in our collection. Circulate is just the word that means that books get checked out and then checked back in and then checked out and then checked back in. They circulate. And the department that takes care of all of this is the circulation department. They take care of all of those books, plus so many other things like DVDs, toys, audiobooks, playaways. There's so many things that circulate. At Midtown alone, we circulate hundreds of items per week, and at larger branches, it's even more. At the Schweitzer Brentwood branch, we have a machine that helps us check in and sort materials. On busy days, it can sort up to 1,200 items a day but we still need lots of staff to put those books on carts, take them back out to the shelves, or take them to the hold shelf so that somebody that has requested them next can pick them up. You may think, I don't want to put you through all that trouble just to put a book on hold. I'll just buy it online. But do you know how much your library actually saves you every month? If you go on the website under library info and find the library use value calculator, you can put in some numbers and find out. I just put a guesstimation of what my own family uses the library every month for and check out that big red number. It really puts things into perspective. Our books can't stay in the collection forever. You may imagine that after being circulated for some time, a book might get kind of tired and beat up. This book does a great job of showing what might happen to a book after it's done at the library. So you can see that in Book's Big Adventure, the book starts out brand new and it's got a shiny red cover and look how happy he is. And he is going to get checked out multiple times and taken home and read and loved and loved and loved. And after a while, the cover doesn't look so shiny anymore. And oh no, he's so sad. Where is he? In the box? In the basement? Will he ever be read again? We hope so. <laughs> our Friends of the Library organization actually goes through our unwanted books at the library and even your cluttered bookshelves to put on a twice annual book sale that volunteers go through thousands of books to put in the sale. And where does that money go? It goes back into the library. It pays for the whole summer reading program. So all those game boards and all the prizes you get, it also pays for building additions, 
performing musicians, even furniture and decor, like what we have at Midtown in our teen department. It's like a whole circle of life with books. And it's really reassuring to know that books don't get thrown away, but get sent to the book sale where they can be loved again by another family. Maybe talk to an adult in your family about volunteering with Friends of the Library, or definitely encourage them to take you to the next book sale in April so you can buy all the things. Everything. We hope that you've learned a little bit about how a book moves through our district and what happens to it when it leaves the library. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to go to the book sale.